DMZ has nothing to do with the military, although DMZ actually means demilitarized zone. Setting up a DMZ makes sense when you access a common database from different networks. This is, for example, often the case for production data. You need the protection data in the corporate network. This means the office network and also in the automation network. The direct communication between these two networks is always heavily restricted by firewalls. Most probably, you cannot access one network from the other one to retrieve data. For example, the firewall of the corporate network is configured in such a way that only port 80 for surfing the Internet and port 443 for secure surfing are open. So, from the corporate network, there is no way into the automation network via port 102. That is the port for the somatic communication. And also the other way round. There is no way to or from the automation network via port 80 and port 443. And this is a good thing, since open ports would allow undesired communication into the automation network. Be it out of carelessness or bad intention, viruses, trojans or denial of service attacks from the corporate network might affect the automation network. This would undo the protection provided by the firewalls. To solve this problem, you can create a DMZ. In this DMZ, a server is placed that forms the data basis. Nodes in the system network and in the corporate network can access the server in the DMZ. This way, the corporate and system network have the same data basis and can exchange data indirectly but safely. This newly created network segment is also called a perimeter.